that starts my morning. I start my coffee, make her a bagel, make her an iced coffee, pretty much straighten up around the house. Not really, I won't do that, that's Hannah's job. I'll take some credit though. Uh, get in the truck, drive her to the top of the driveway. I say some bad shit and she just says, yeah, no. Like typical teenager stuff. Like she's at that age where she's just like starting to figure, so trying to figure herself out. So now we take five minutes together. Then I take my morning shit. Then I do cardio. Then we start the day. Every single day. Every day. One of the coolest things about this house. Uh, I don't know if you've watched the bear video, but I remember whenever Zach was... Uh, Whenever we went to Idaho and uh, we had to shit outside. So, uh, and I'm like, man, I don't know about shitting out in the fucking wilderness like this. Like cold as fuck. Never been there. Don't know anything about the terrain. But it's part of it. There's no, we're 45 minutes away from a shitter. So, you take a shit outside. It's normal. However, he's like, the best thing to do in the morning is get your morning coffee. Go take a shit. Have your bino harness. Because you don't go anywhere without your bino harness find a fucking beautiful mountain and just glass for animals. And I'm like, okay, all right. I chill my balls in the morning, but I'm just gonna squat down, take a shit and glass for animals. Okay, sure enough, by the third, fourth day, I fucking loved it. But at my home here in the basement, the people that previously owned this house, they moved to Montana and the back of the door is looks like the side of the mountain so the same people that built this home had the same concept because they loved going out to montana so you're gonna see it how cool is that got the horseshoes as the hangers got some rams some deer wolves bears antelope i think it's fucking awesome <laughs> And now, we do cardio for 45 minutes. I start out on a level of four. I do that for like five, 10 minutes, then go up to level six for a certain period of time, then level eight, sometimes even up to level 10. I'm not really training for anything, so I don't have a purpose. I'm just doing it to sweat, feel good. So whatever I'm feeling that day, that's what I do. But uh, today's gonna be a good day. All of, uh, the All-American Roughneck gear for Black Friday has come in. It's a big deal. Bob and I are gonna review everything, make sure it's good. Um, and then Elf. If you have not seen on my Instagram channel or Axe and Sledge Instagram channel, we have a deal with Warner Brothers. Yes, we do. Your degenerates of the supplement industry have a deal with Warner Brothers, the movie Elf. Um, it is awesome. So we, we are releasing three new flavors of farm fed maple syrup on pancakes, peppermint bark, and the banger white chocolate spice. It is Christmas in a shaker bottle. It's awesome. So, uh, I am beyond excited. The labels are fucking fire, fire. They're incredible. The flavors are incredible. Uh, the marketing is, uh, awesome. We got a bunch of silly videos coming out, keeping it PG, which was tough. <laughs> but uh, no, it's super cool. I'm incredibly proud of the team because uh, there's no way this deal could have been done with just one person. It took a team of people. What do you got there? You get a piece of mom's bagel. Killer lighting. Yeah. I love it. And now we go upstairs. 
get some water, some aminos, get a shower, make the shake, off to work. The natural lighting at this mirror is also very awesome. And yes, we did decorate for Christmas already. We gotta shoot content. And I'm a Christmas person. Fuck you if you don't like it. That lighting. Still got it. 46 days. Look at the mayhem. Flips his shit over, throws everything everywhere. Huh. So we uh, have homeschooled Emmy. Uh, we have our gymnastics facility, Elegance Elite Gymnastics, and we built a, uh, a uh, homeschool program. It's still a, uh, they still do it all through cyber school, but we built uh, a little room out for some of the kids in gymnastics to, um, to do gymnastics all day. So they do gymnastics from eight to 10.30, have a snack, and then from 10.30 to 2.30 or 3, they do schoolwork. And then from 3 to 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock, they do gymnastics. So we built that program out, and it has been fucking awesome. Emmy loves it. The other girls love it. Emmy has not done this well in school because she's actually having one-on-one -on -one time with teachers um, online. And we also hired in a uh, teacher to come in for those four to five hours a day to help with the children. So, Hannah's a badass. She's a badass bitch. Check out these beauties. Elf by Axe and Sledge. We have maple syrup on pancakes, peppermint bark, white chocolate spice. But these labels, you can see everything like pops off of it. It's like a 3D label. Whenever we were working with Warner Brothers, they said that each label has to tell a little bit of a story. So that way it goes along with the themes. So this one here is maple syrup on pancakes and you'll see New York City in the background, along with like Will Ferrell traveling through it, like how he was walking like a Yeti or Bigfoot. And we have the snow globe of New York City on the end there. Then peppermint bark. This is the candy cane forest in which Buddy the Elf travels through. North Pole. These labels are sick nasty. And finally, white chocolate spice. This is a depiction of the department store, Gimbal's. You see Nutcracker, the presents. Over on this side, you got Santa's seat. The Nutcrackers, the Christmas tree. Very cool. Killer labels, killer flavors. We did not fuck this up. This smells incredible you're gonna get it crack it open and be like holy fuck i love it but if you want christmas in a shaker bottle white chocolate spice is it also delicious in coffee so is this one this is awesome on its own it's still hard for me to believe that we actually got this deal it's incredible we have a lot of really cool marketing plan for it so stay tuned on the uh, instagram channels it'll be kind of fun Say hi, everyone. I am fucking pumped. So we okay. have... Peppermint patty? Yeah. What's next? So, everyone, uh, like I was saying, we were going to check out some of the Black Friday stuff. This Black Friday is probably... Dude, this is the coolest one we've done yet. All Looking at all this stuff here, I mean, we have... I think a total with all the hats, 37 pieces of, of apparel. Yes. Okay. 37 brand new pieces. Uh, so I watched this YouTube channel, uh, and this guy, he's a, uh, his name's Nico. He's Pride and Pinion, mm -hmm. is the watch thing. And I was bringing it up because I watch it, and he always talks about, he rates different watch brands and all this, became a little bit of a watch guy. I have one, but it's not like a big deal, but it's a big deal to me. Um, but he was rating watches on how they go about their businesses and what they do year to year to year. And um, it's, it's funny how he rates them and bases them off of like where they are in the ranking system and kind of how we, what we've done in every single year, we strive after Black Friday, we take that month of December and figure out what we want to do the following year to get better. How are we going to improve? And sure enough, I'm watching this video and that's exactly how he rates 
all of these different brands and how they continually get better, what they do to innovate their own brand and how they become better. And motherfucker, this shit is legit. Seeing all this stuff and where we started is unbelievable. You know, we, we could have we could have done these flannels fairly simple, still had like that AAR branding to it, but when when we start to really research like sampling, we wanna know literally every single aspect that we can fully customize. Because those little touches, I mean, that's that's what really brings the value and, and the and the vibe behind all of our items. It's why you guys liked the flannels from October. And when uh, me and Nick, our other designer, when we look at these things, sometimes the actual piece itself, the flannel itself, isn't really like the, the form focus. Like the bagging, the, the tagging, well, the, the way the neck tag matches the pocket it's, tag. It's, it's everything that I always looked for when I received something in the mail. It's, it's that, that Apple unboxing experience, right? And we think as if you guys are, are you know, supporting this brand as much as you are, you deserve that same fulfillment when you get, when you get your shit. We, we don't cut corners. This, this is... No, it's... I mean, whenever... And like, like Bob was saying, whenever we go to do these things, our passion goes into this. We are two silly fucks from Pennsylvania that have become uh, uh, the, the cool blue-collar brand that made the American working man cool. Like, the working family man needs to be cool, and this is the brand where we do high-quality uh, high quality apparel customized at a decent price. This is my favorite t-shirt that we have coming out for Black Friday. I make money and have good dick days. That's a fuck you shirt. Yes. Yes. That's an essential. That's a new item that Bob and I, this one took I think almost as long as the Sherpa did last year. Yeah. Again, the bag, full Sherpa fleece jacket, the base camp jacket. Thick, warm, we got the Axe and Sledge uh, tag right there on the front pocket. And then on the back we have the Axe and Sledge embroidered. The zipper on the Sherpa is like a thick, really like heavy toothed zipper. Yeah. My shit. Super clean. I love it. Warm, thick, quality. It's not shit. It's not like flimsy. Like when you put it on you can tell when a shit jacket, when a jacket is shit. I am super pumped. Uh, but we have another Sherpa for Black Friday. Then we did the base camp jacket. We have one other like fucking primo, primo item that you uh, you have to wait on to see the blog. But uh, here we also did what Bob and I both love are thermals. Like a nice clean color on color embroidered thermal. And this thing was a little bit of a pain in the ass to uh, custom fit because being a thicker guy, if you got the extra, like hanging out or something, or you're a bigger boy, I don't like wearing a, just a thermal that's really tight around my waist and like form fitting because if I'm going out to eat or I'm a little bloated or I'm fat, however you want to put it, I don't want the like, I don't know, I don't want to look like shit. You don't want it hugging those handles. No, especially like from behind, like I don't want it hugging like right here when I look like shit. So that was part of the process on the, uh, on the, the design of the thermal, so the material is a little stretched, but it still forms really well around the shoulders. But on the bottom, we didn't do like a tight bottom. We had it cut on the end, and then the back is a little bit longer than the front. So therefore, for us bigger folk, or the ones that have a little hefty in areas, it has room on the, on the sides of you. It's awesome. Women's and kids, too. Women's and kids, yeah. Yep. The matching flannels. It was funny because we planned on having doing the matching flannels for Black Friday. You know, the whole fucking, all the kids wear the same flannels as you and the wife and all that stuff. Make it fun, like that family aspect of being hardworking motherfuckers. Got the leather tag, the brown buttons, custom tag, and then, like, we get to put future HWMF. Like, little silly shit like this is where it comes into, like, the fun part. Yeah. It's incredible. This is our sixth Black Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah, sixth Black Friday. Yeah. The first one was a little different. 
Yeah. The third one was a little different whenever we were packing orders, too. Oh, my God. I fucked up a little bit. Yeah, you guys remember when he was packing orders. <laughs> Anybody that's been around since then knows that Seth was packing orders. I may have... Uh, I may have fucked up one or two of them. Adeline had a way better pack uh, packing record than, than you did. Yes, she did. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. So if that was three to four years ago, Adeline's 11, 12 years old, packing orders. She's, she's 15 in a week. Yep. Holy shit. I'm not doing good with that, by the way. I think everybody in the office knows I'm not handling Adeline being five foot five, 125 pounds, jacked, beautiful, smart. Fuck you guys. It happens. All that old guy shit, you blink and it's, it's gone. The time the girl's gone. We're gonna train legs. Both of them? Both of them. If, you, if you're a parent, you'll understand this. And everybody else will think it's cool too, but I just got a text message from my daughter. And it was, I could see the picture, or a picture, and a hashtag, Seth Ferrosi motivation of the day. And I click on the picture, and it's like a family crest with my motto, no problems, just more work to do, and our name under it. It's a project that was asked for her to do. It said, on this side, create your own family crest. You need color, you need the name, and you need a motto. And if you think that as a parent you aren't having an influence on your child, good or bad, you are dead wrong. I don't really get emotional or cry too much. But whenever I get stuff like this, Man, it can't help but hit you right in the heart. That means my 15-year-old daughter, what myself and Hannah have on her is a strong influence. How cool is that? That kid's been through a ton of shit. A ton of shit with me. Her and I were on our own together for a couple years. I told her, all you gotta do, kid, win or lose, win or lose, just keep fucking working. Whether you win today or lose today, you still have to wake up and do work tomorrow. I like being a dad. It's probably my favorite thing to do. This is the type of shit that reminds me why I am a dad, why I work so fucking hard, and it gives me motivation to push myself harder because I'm not fucking dead yet. 
And I tell you what, if I'm not fucking dead yet and I wake up today, I'm going to work my ever-loving fucking balls off for it. Because I do have an influence, you do have an influence, we all have an influence upon someone in this world. And I tell you what, if you do not give everything you have, you're doing yourself and all your people a disservice. That right there is the good shit, ladies and gentlemen.